Josh, it has been exhausting <laughs> following your progress. Are they going out? Are they not? I mean, and obviously being in the show, whilst it's been great fun and you've loved it, it has got to put a strain on any relationship. Do you think that's what's happened? Definitely. I think, you know, we've overcome quite a few struggles. And I think I always say with people, when you're going for a good time on TOWIE, it's made a million times better. But when you're going for a bad time, it's yeah. made a million times worse, yeah. isn't no, it? No, absolutely. We saw there, there have been tears. There have been tears along the way. What sort of reaction do you get, Lydia, from the, from the public? Do they, do they desperately want the two of you to be together? They desperately want a happy ending? Yeah, I think no matter what happened between us, obviously we had our fair share of ups and downs. The public were always rooting for us, and no yeah. matter what, they always wanted us to get back together. Yeah. I think everyone loves the story of like childhood sweethearts, don't they? And of course. We have been... Yeah, definitely. We have been together <laughs> for a long time. Yeah. So you think this time it's... Forever. Hopefully. Yeah, I think we, we both made a pact that uh, if we get back of each other this time, then uh, then it's got to be forever and we want to, you know, have a more mature relationship and think about yeah. the future and stuff like that. Because, you know, as much as we've been on and off, there must be sort of a... There must be a reason why we do keep getting back together. I know. At one point, it seemed that you couldn't live without each other, but you couldn't live with each other yeah. either. And it's like maybe you've got over it's probably still the same that. now, Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you've also you, you've also had to grow up in front of the cameras, and that's not easy yeah. either. You know, we were saying it's five years. It's yeah. a long, long, long time. Yeah, that, definitely. You know, you've been, and we've seen all, all of it unfold. You know, that's why people, I yeah. think, are so drawn into the series. That's what they want to watch. Yeah. I think you mature as people as well, and you mature as couples. And I think we're both. At different stages in our life and mm. if it doesn't work this time Lorraine I'm flying to Australia <laughs> and, and I'll never see you again. <laughs> no, but it will, yeah. we know it will. I, I think it's because obviously we was together actually two years before the show had even started yes. so I think people can, especially like the only ways Essex, you can really tell what certain things are real and what's, do you know what I mean? Like oh what, absolutely. Yeah you, know, you can really tell what's real and generally you can tell when sort of people try to get each other maybe for this yeah. and that so I think me and Lydia you know people could just you know really sort of believe in it that's why mm. they sort of are quite supportive towards us. No, I think so. I think you're absolutely right there because yeah. it's real. Yeah, it definitely. is real actually, and some of it isn't. But we know that. <laughs> we know that. We know that. Now, look. The only thing about your relationship is there's kind of three people in it in a way, and um, because Debbie, your mum, has always kind of been in the middle, trying to find, you know, trying to find out and trying to sort things. We've got her on the line just now, no. Debbie. Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> Debbie. How are you? Right, and you, like, I just would like to say, Lorraine, you said you're exhausted. Can you imagine how I feel? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Sometimes you just want to bang their heads together, I guess. It's I been... mean, I, it's been a long, long, long road, but I always believed they were made for each other. Oh. And I think, uh, I think that's the bottom line, you know? You only fall in love once and your true love is your first love. I think that's very true. That's very, very true. But it's right. It's right. Would you love to see them actually getting married and you can finally go and buy a hat and do all of well, that? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been, as you know, Lorraine, through absolutely everything with them. But I've never really taken sides, although Lydia always thought I took James's side. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and I didn't. I mean, obviously, you know, I could see both sides of the story, but they have grown up in front of the nation, yeah, yeah. but yeah. more importantly, in front of me, their mum and mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, just, I just think that they are both ready to move on in the next part of their relationship. And yeah. I always say, don't keep waiting forever. People go, I'll wait till I get a new car, I'll wait till I get... Because yeah, all that happens just... when you wait is you get older. <laughs> that's true. No, that's very, very true. And I know Arge as well as all of this. You, you, like to, you like to do a bit of crooning. You like to do a bit of singing, yes, don't you? Yes, I is do. That something we're going to see a little bit more in this series, do you think? Uh, well, yeah, the last series, uh, fortunately, I was, I was able to start my own band. So yeah. I've, I've got my own band that I've put together called The Arge Band. And uh, we've been doing like lots of like, little gigs here and there. And, and the groupie. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Lydia and Debbie always often come and support me and, and my family and That's stuff. Really so, so I'm really enjoying that at the moment.